welcome one and all to some more soul silver so bad news um spyro 2 is gonna have to be put on hold for the time being because for some reason obs decided to not work on me and hey you kid i see you're new in mahogany town since you're new what you should try uh yummy rage cannibal sure i have money to spare rage candy bar I thought that was supposed to be a rare candy bar. Anyway, let's... What do you have to say? Gyarados. Hey, yay, yay, yay. So, yeah, that guy's gonna block the way for us. Luckily, let's check up on Goldenrod. See what's been happening. Caw! What the fuck? Why is Team Rocket here? Oh, that is not a good sign. Team Rocket's here, so that could only mean one thing. Hold on. Wait, shit. It's been a while. Fuck. We take over Radio Tower. What? It's none of your business. So yeah, Team Rocket has taken over the Radio Tower. Of course, there's a guy right there who's going to block you from entering. Luckily, we know of another way to get in. How you may ask? Simple, we take the long way around. No trainers here. Are you a nuclear? Yeah, uniforms. How convenient. Alright, so now that we have this clever disguise, we now pass off for a rocket grunt. We do look mighty dapper though. Would have been cool if you could like switch a tire, but sadly you cannot. Heh, it must have been new. Of course it can't be that easy. Stop going around and showing people you cowards. Uh, wait a minute. What are you doing here? God damn it, Silver, you blew my cover! You fuck! You blew my cover! Just put the, the clip of Arnold Schwarzenegger screaming. And you blew my cover! From like, uh, what, what was the name of that movie? Yeah, just just play the, play the clip. Alright. Fighting a team rocket grunt. Yep. We gained some levels. My dog decided to join, so say hello. Hey. Level 46. My dog decided to scratch on my door. Let's see, eradicate. Actually, you know what? 
Let's give Spiny some love. Get out of here. Double kick. Oh, that hurts. Ow. I really need a Moonstone really bad. Ah, uh, Hyper Fang. <sighs> okay, maybe sending on Spiny wasn't a good idea. On the plus side, we're getting a lot of XP. You're strong. <sighs> Too powerful, damn right. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying this right now. I am so used to like the Digimon games. Let me handle this. So yeah, Team Rocket's taking over. But let's heal up Spiny first. Yeah, I am so used to the Cyber Sleuth games. It's like, or just, I'm used to the Digimon games in general, where like, when you level up your HP and MP or SP, changes from game to game. You know, your health and energy are fully restored whenever you level up, which is like, very convenient and can also save you in a pinch. And helps conserve you on items. What do you have to say about all this? Why would they want to take over the radio tower? I don't know, they've spread propaganda. Uh, why else would they? Haha, -ha, how boring! It was far too easy to take over this place! Keep me amused! Really? Well, if it's amusement you want, then. Ah, what? Yeah, I ain't gonna do shit. Arbuck fainted. I'm just curious, do I have a moonstone? I don't think I picked up a moonstone. I swear if I picked up a... No, I didn't. I could have tried to pick up a moonstone at some point, but no. No, I didn't. Thank Christ, I am so used to like having... Rocket run. Bada boom. So now a Rattata. Alright, Spiny, your first outing didn't go too hot, but we'll make amends for that. Ow. You think Poison Point would have kicked in? I can't believe I actually did that in sync. Twenty one. Rattata. So much for being a double kick. Ah, you had Hyper Fang. Why the fuck do you have Hyper Fang? Fuck you. 
Okay, that's it. Gator time. Another rotata. Let's use cut on them. Just for the hell of it. Cut them down to size. And there goes the Team Rocket Grunt. Big Gary Hero. Do not fret, citizens, for I am here! You can probably get... Wait, is today's password? Help, of course! Really? I would have thought like a double battle would have triggered down. Odd. Guess they're just too far away. Rocket Grunt! Get aim there. Surf and turf. Yes, that was the sound of me clanging on my computer. So, so yeah. Like I said, not only much to say, base, uh, as I was about to say earlier before I was interrupted, Spyro 2 is going to have to be put on hold because while I was trying to record, what was supposed to be this week's part of Spyro 2, uh, yeah, OBS decided, no, I'm not gonna record. Hard. Fuck you. And just stopped working on me. It's like, the fuck, man? And all I wanna do is sh show people a game where you play as a purple bargain. You can... Hey. And... You motherfucker. So, yeah, um, that's gonna, so, Spyro 2 is gonna have to be put on hold, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I should start another playthrough or not. Um, I know that all of my other playthroughs are probably gonna have to be put on hold anyway, because I want to do a playthrough for October, like a special Halloween-based playthrough, as I've mentioned before. And the game that I'm thinking of doing is Doom. Uh, specifically Doom 2016. So I don't know if I should start Doom in September, so that way by the end of Halloween, by the time I actually reach Halloween, the game would actually be finished then. Oh shit. <laughs> so yeah. What do you have to say? Yeah, anyway, so yeah, um, so yeah, um, so if you see thumbnails involving Spooky Man with green armor, then that'll let you know that, uh, in comes Doom Guy. Jesus Christ, so many Magnemites. Hey, hey, hey. So, yeah. Um. What else? I also intend on doing Ori and the Will of the Wisp at some point. So, 
So do expect that at some point. So yeah, that's pretty much about it, what's going on so far. Um, in other news, I've also been busy, if you've seen my DeviantArt page, you know that I've been uh, sketching some more creatures, designing some more creatures. Uh, lately, I've also been sketching some other creatures um, as well. I've been trying to branch out with my creature designs and oh hey Rex is now level 47 you can probably guess which Pokemon I am using the most here's a hint it's for alligator the team rocket boss has locked himself in the room the rest is in the floor we gotta save him but first XP by the way I'm pretty certain you can skip a good portion of these encounters by the way Okay, but, eh, this, it'd be too short. This part would be too short. So, let's fight everyone we see. <laughs> I might just have to, um... Make my way back to the center. Not the arc map. In order to like heal up. Bada boom. Rattata. I would send Spiny after you, but Spiny's currently down. So Deck. Lastly, Zabat. Zabat. Alrighty. So, yeah. I guess while I'm here, I might as well talk about card games, since, uh... <laughs> my current creature designs have taken a bit of inspiration from card games. As well as, well, Digimon, obviously. And again, Digimon lives in my head rent-free. So... <laughs> Alright, let's go heal up. And then we'll continue with the tower. So yeah, um, I guess I could give my opinions on different card games. Uh, starting with the big three, so Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, I like the aesthetics of Yu-Gi-Oh. In fact, I've always liked, like, out of all the, like, art styles of the big three, I like Yu-Gi-Oh the most, from a visual standpoint, in terms of an actual... Well, here's a funny thing to show off. Well, I guess while I'm here, I might as well. Okay, so you're probably wondering how the hell you're supposed to fix this. Well, we do this. First, we save the game. Next, we... If I can reset, so you can see why I was hesitant to do that. Oh, look, we're all better. <laughs> yeah, you can see why I was hesitant to do that. And keep in mind, Soul Silver, I think, is the only game that I have on my emulation stuff where this is the case. Um, this never happened to me once during Digimon World Dawn, nor Fossil Fighters, so leave it to Pokemon to be the problem child. 
out of all the playthroughs that I've done via emulation so far. Oh, hey, it's these two. Music enriches people's heart and soul. Damn right. Why? Why do I have to suffer through this? Yeah, help me. Yeah, bitch. I just realized, you know, on all fours. Hmm? Who are you? So, so, yeah, that's how you fix that glitch, by the way. Um, back to card games. Because I mentioned Pokemon, I might as well bring up the Pokemon TCG. Um, the Pokemon TCG... I think the TCG is not bad from, like, a gameplay standpoint, but I think it's way too complicated for its own good. And I also think that a lot of the mechanics that are in the Pokemon TCG were done better in other TCGs, if you ask me. Example, the evolution mechanic. So, of course, the way you get stronger monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! is by sacrificing monsters, lower level monsters, in order to summon the higher level ones, obviously. There are, of course, other ways of summoning, like XZ summoning, which requires multiple monsters of the same level. Or uh, Synchro Monsters, which requires tuners and non-tuners, with their levels having to equal whatever Synchro Monster. With their combined levels having to equal whatever Synchro Monster you want to summon, i.e. Stardust Dragons, level 8. Um, Pokemon, by contrast, you're only allowed to evolve your Pokemon once per turn. Which is something I'm personally not really too keen on. Like, I can understand why, like, it's for balance purposes, but... But even still, for a game and franchise that's about evolving, you'd think it would require you to be more strategic with evolving. Plus, if one of your mods goes down... Plus, here's the thing about the evolution system. Who cares about Pokemon? That's a good question. I don't know who the hell gives a shit about this franchise. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, because, like, here's the thing. So, I'll use an example. Uh, let's use Nato King as an example. In order to get Nato King, you need to have a Nidorino. But you can't just summon a Nidorino and then on your next turn evolve it into Nidoking. Instead, you have to have a Nidoran male, then evolve it into Nidorino, and then evolve it into Nidoking. And keep in mind, you can only evolve once per turn. And it's like, what? Like at that point, I might as well just make a deck of nothing but legendaries. Very. <laughs> Just give me Zekra, um, Cura, um, Lugia, Latias, Groudon, and I'd be set. <laughs> uh, fun fact, some of the first Pokemon cards I've ever owned were from both the Heart Gold and Soul Silver era and the Black 2 and White 2 era. I still own a few uh, cards as well. Now that I've now that I've thoroughly roasted the Pokemon TCG, I might as well bring up Magic the Gathering. I think out of all the big three, I think from a gameplay standpoint, Magic the Gathering is probably my favorite. It's not too hard to figure out. Like if you just know the bare minimum of Magic the Gathering, like how lands work, how creatures work, how instants and sorceries work, you should be fine. <laughs> oh, hi, Porygon. Get out of here, you Digimon knockoff. I am just thoroughly pissing off the Pokemon community with this part, am I? I, I should have... I've said it before, but like, any references to the later bits of the franchise, like, post the DS era, or just references to the Pokemon franchise in general, spoiler warning, none of them are positive, with few exceptions. Oh hey, there's the boss. Hello, boss. 
director. Wait a minute. Hey, this guy's a phony. He's a big fat phony. I don't even watch Family Guy. And yet I know the fucking meme. Why is it that I always reference shit that I don't watch? Like, I reference games that I don't play, like Metal Gear Rising, and I reference shows I don't watch, and films that I don't watch. Anyway, Petrol's back, and he's got a whole team this time. Not like it matters! <laughs> because Frogator here is at level 47, and we're about to wipe the floor with him. Give him an offer he can't refuse. A thorough ass whooping. There's wheezing. By wheezing. And this should grant us delicious XP. Another coughing. Jesus Christ. Oh my science. Anyway, so yeah, um, I think, again, I think from a gameplay standpoint, Match the Gathering is probably my favorite out of all of them. In fact, even though I have modified a deck before in a Kaijudo, it was one of the starter decks, um, the first TCG where I properly made a deck of my own was Magic the Gathering, and it's of course a red-green deck. For those wondering... There goes another coffin. Uh, for those wondering where my where the inspiration for my red green deck in the Digimon card game came from, that's where it came from. From it came from my red green deck in Magic the Gathering. Um, if if people want, I could show my red green deck probably on like Tumblr or Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> I barely even use that shit site. By the way, Tumblr is basically a better Twitter. I'll just say that right now. <laughs> and watch Twitter users are like, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> There's a lot of things wrong with me. What? Am I losing? Oh, you're more than just losing. You're getting your ass handed to you. Having a team of nothing but coughings and one wheezing. Alrighty then, I think we should be calling this a part soon. Listen carefully, we stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. At the far end of Goldenrod Tunnel. I'll give you the basement key to the warehouse. Oh, hey, we got the basement key. Well, now that that's done and over with. Let's go call it a part here. Yeah, we'll call it a part here, and... Well, first we'll heal up, then we'll call it a part. Yeah, of the card game Big 3, from a visual standpoint, I definitely like Yu-Gi-Oh! the most, but from a gameplay standpoint, I definitely prefer Magic the Gathering. Of course, I was going to be into the Digimon card game regardless, but I really do want to play the Digimon card game at some point. Anyway, so, yeah, that's going to be it for Pokemon Soul Silver. Next part, we're going to rescue the, dire the, uh, the director there, and kick the shit out of Team Rocket. So, if you enjoyed this part and its thorough roasting of Pokemon, as per usual, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to see my other non-gaming-related stuff, you can check out my DeviantArt and my Tumblr page below. Until then, see you all another time. Bye.